Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Uh, this is a completed diorama of uh, a North African village, something that might be uh, pre prevalent, pre prevalent, 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 <laughs> 1941-43, something like that. Um, North African campaign, uh, just interesting to make different uh, styles of buildings with the, uh, the dome on the top and the, the shapes of windows and doors just makes um, a nice change. Um, so this is the completed thing. So you need to know how I went about making it. And uh, please watch the rest of the video. Before you do, uh, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be informed when new videos come along. So uh, without further ado, let's get on to how I went about making it. So I'm using two millimeter thick card as usual. Um, three pieces of cornflake packets stuck together will give you two millimeters and it's a, a good sturdy base for any modeling. <clears throat> so I've chosen the size of my uh, building, one of the buildings, uh, four inches by eight inches, uh, 100 mil by 200 mil and then put my arch in uh, but I marked out and cut out the archway first uh, using the um, center point of the compass to mark out the stones around the arch and you can see I've cut grooves all the way around to represent the different stones and that will sit proud then of the arch opening like that I'll put a door in later so there's the arch and then I've cut this window which looks very um, North African um, and that will sit in the middle there something like that then at the top uh, looking at photographs there's there's very often um, a dome at the top there not quite sure whether it's uh, religious purposes or uh, aesthetics or what but anyway, there's a dome at the top, so this will have the two sides and then this will sit like that with the dome on the top like that. So we'll have that kind of effect. Okay, so that will be one building like that. This is just a piece of polystyrene, by the way. I've just... Uh, with a. Uh, lightly with a piece of sandpaper just made it round into a dome shape. I suppose you could cut the top off a small plastic ball uh, but this is a cheaper way of doing it. Um, and then the other building which is only part so again uh, slightly smaller with the uh, same window there and just part of the door and there'll there'll be some polystyrene in there to show the thickness of the wall uh, it's the only part that you will see the thickness of uh, anyway i'll put all these bits and pieces together um, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like then so <clears throat> put all my things together all my uh, bits and pieces we've now got an archway uh, an arched doorway there which is uh, very prevalent for North African buildings. And then uh, just um, uh, finished it off around the <coughs> edges like that. Put my window on. And there's normally this kind of thing going on <laughs> on North African buildings. I think it's like extended joists, maybe. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, I, I assume they're, they're like the joists that go all the way through the building to hold the floor up and then they extend them out the front of the house. They're, again, that's just pieces of cardboard um, stuck together and then stuck on the uh, on the front. And I've got my dome there and I've just made a, a, a bit of a design at the top of the building there like that. So it looks very African-y, <laughs> very North African building looking. I think anyway uh, and the other building I put together and put a bit of uh, 
polystyrene there just to show the broken building there so these are the two buildings that will make up the diorama and you would normally see steps outside the house as well so that will go like that so that's the general shape then of uh, of the buildings of the diorama so what i need to do now is give it a coat of wall filler wall putty uh, mix this with some water to make a like a thick paint that will cover the whole of the cardboard. Uh, cardboard doesn't like being painted, uh, but when this is on, then you can do anything you like over the top. So I'll give this a, a coat of this, then put some of my homemade bricks. Um, these are my bricks that I make. This is made from red coloured tile grout uh, just mix some tile grout up spread it over a ceramic tile wait an hour and then mark out with a sharp knife the uh, uh, the shape of the bricks um, people ask me well how big are the bricks well you have to assume that a man 135 scale this size if you put a brick in his hand <laughs> like so that's going to be about the size of the brick. Anything bigger than that, it, it looks silly. <laughs> it looks, it, it, you're tempted to make the big bricks bigger because it's easier and quicker. Uh, but um, they need to be that size, really. You have to imagine him uh, building the wall and holding the brick. So very small, really. So I'll put a few... Uh, areas of bricks <clears throat> then uh, a coat of a different colored tile grout to represent the render uh, most North African buildings are rendered in some kind of plaster uh, so I'll do that uh, this will be painted red as will the um, the window uh, frame and uh, well I'll do all of that so I'll finish off these buildings and uh, come back and then we'll put it on um, the base, which will be quite big. Um, so, yeah, I'll finish that, finish the buildings off and be back in a minute. OK, so there we are. Finished my two buildings off. A uh, little stairway in between there. Uh, struck a door, just a piece of cardboard with grooves in and there we are that's my buildings done turned out reasonably well i think so they'll sit like that uh, but the main uh, point of the uh, diorama is that it stands on a rough ground uh, for a tank to be sitting in in front of the buildings there so it needs to be quite a substantial size of diorama base and it, um, obviously it will be sand, uh, but a, a rough terrain is what I wanted rather than just a smooth base. Uh, so um, I think I ought to <laughs> tell you tell you a story first. Um, for for ten years, I was a teacher in Thai schools, teaching English to uh, ten, eleven year old uh, students. And uh, at one of the schools I worked at, I was given the task of producing a play, which is a good idea for students to learn English. They have to learn the lines and so on. So I chose uh, Jack and the Beanstalk as my uh, title for, for the play. So obviously I made all the props. I made the, uh, the cow and uh, various different props for the uh, students. And uh, what we needed was a golden egg, the goose that lays the golden egg in the story. Uh, so I bought a huge um, egg-shaped piece of polystyrene. They use them in um, Buddhist ceremonies here, so they're easily available. But it's a big, big uh, uh, size piece of polystyrene, and it was easily shaped into the shape of an egg, uh, which I did. But then I need it to, needed it to be golden. So I bought some gold spray paint and I, st 
started spraying the uh, polystyrene egg with this uh, gold spray paint and before my eyes <laughs> the thing just disintegrated in front of me it just went into a blub into a blob uh, so I had to think again and start again but it got me thinking um, if I wanted a rough terrain on a piece of polystyrene um, all I had to do was it just happened to be silver uh, that's what I happened to have uh, just sprayed it over the uh, area that I wanted um, and I can make potholes and make it a very very rough looking terrain this I cut with a knife and then uh, with a sharp stick for the uh, sort of low cliff area there um, but I, I've, I've got a rough terrain and all I had to do was just spray paint on it uh, so what turned out to be a disaster one time um, has helped me to put this diorama together so that will sit at the back like that and there will be a tank in the front but now I've got to finish off this uh, rough terrain in the front so again as usual I give it a coat of wall filler uh, watered down wall filler just to cover the whole area uh, then I can put my sand and as I live on the coast sand is not a problem for me uh, so I, I'll carry on and finish off uh, the terrain area and uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like then okay so that's basically finished with the uh, actual diorama base uh, we've got uh, the broken wall there with some broken pieces of uh, tile grout <coughs> as usual and some on the ground there um, I started with uh, a coat of wall filler just to cover the polystyrene uh, then some grey grout, which is still on the uh, the broken polystyrene there, which looks quite um, brick-like. Uh, then a coat, then uh, a coat of um, PVA glue, and just um, uh, put some sand on the top, um, uh, and that's it. I, I've not used any paint at all. Uh, so we've got the potholes there from when I uh, melted the uh, polystyrene with the, the acrylic paint. Uh, anyway, there we are. That, that's basically the uh, what I was after. But uh, we need to make it look a bit better than that. So what I've done is I've made uh, two palm trees. Uh, one to stick in there and one there. And then with the idea of the whole the whole point of the diorama was to show off my tiger tank so when that sits there now then it all comes together and let me just put this on on my turntable and there we are that that's that was the whole point of uh, doing the thing in the first place this tiger tank by the way um completely cardboard if you if you're interested in knowing how to make a cardboard tank uh, i've made a video of it uh, a few months ago now so if you look through my list of videos you uh, you will see how i made that so i think that sets it off quite nicely okay so there we are one uh, north african diorama um, I have made a, a, a North African diorama in the past, um, but this is, I, I think, an improvement on it. Um, it doesn't take too much, just a little bit of two millimeter cardboard to make a couple of small buildings and uh, some polystyrene. That's all. As for the trees, uh, I will, uh, the next video will be how I made the trees rather than go into it now um, still not high enough <laughs> uh, I will uh, show you how I made the uh, the palm trees okay so thank you for watching this video um, please subscribe to the channel click the notification bell 
click the like button, comment please, and um, have a go yourself. Let me know how you get on. And uh, yeah, there we are. That's it. <laughs> uh, I will see you in the next video. Um, and as always, I wish you the very best of modelling.